12,490 pounds, impact 367 here, Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan just landing. This is far and away our most popular impact model, and I think because it's a great layout, it offers, uh, you know, king bed up front. We like to put the generator and the auto leveling on this one. You've got the patio deck with its own awning off the back, 12 foot garage, loft, bath and a half, partridge in a pear tree. Now with a 12 foot garage, you could put nearly anything you want back here. That's enough to fit almost any current modern toy. There's a few that won't fit, but that's why we have an occasional bigger garage unit here at Halet RV. Typically speaking though, 12 foot seems to be enough to handle most anything. You've got industrial uh, rubberized flooring through the whole thing, so it gives your, uh, you know, your tires on your toys good grip. You've also got the 5K interlock tie-down system here. You see these like extremely heavy-duty industrial-grade tie-downs you see here. They actually took a big side-by-side four-seater Razor down at Keystone, strapped it to one of their chassis, flipped the thing upside down, and it held no sweat. Uh, this has a, a 5K pull rating on each of those tie-downs, which is pretty darn impressive. And those are actually reinforced directly to the frame. They use what looks kind of like a, a, a crisscross waffle grid construction style on that floor. There's a lot of steel in that floor. You know, you might be able to find a little lighter weight toy hauler. It ain't necessarily going to have the structure this one has. And of course, you have your Happy Jack uh, power queen bed above that I just simply don't have set up currently. You just push the button to drop it down with your dual rollover sofas below. But you see that they each have that sort of um, you know, middle console there for a, a, a pseudo cinema seat, if you will. Kind of like the back seat of a, a big quad cab pickup truck. They also put big windows back here in these uh, impacts and their big brother fusion. Um, that's a, a question we get commonly is what's the difference? I, uh, basically, a fusion is everything you see in an impact plus more. It's an impact plus. But this is kind of the, uh, the intelligent break point before you're in like full-time luxury living. If you still have a job, you still work for a living, this is going to be the one that I think you're going to be happy with. Because you get all the same structure. You get the same functionality. Just as something that's uh, not quite as salty on the price tag. Now, I've got the ladder just kind of hooked off the top bunk right here. Um, <laughs> off the top rope! But, uh... You can obviously drop that power queen bed above, or you could use the ladder to access the interior loft, and that's the thing. This is the most space-efficient floor plan to give you opposing living room slides, a real loft, uh, a bath and a half, a great bedroom up front, bathroom, a 12-foot garage, you know. This is that sweet spot where everything else is some kind of mutant glorified version of this. One other thing that I want to point out here before we step inside is that this does have a full retractable screen wall not the uh, sort of tent style roll down door. So it's much, much easier to put away when you're done with it, which is something that I know a lot of people prefer. And I suppose I should actually, you know, instead of talking about it, we're doing a video, I should actually take just a quick step up here to look at the half bathroom. Now you'll notice all the way from your rear garage area, like they didn't screw up and put carpet in here. We have a porcelain foot flush stool and I like the breeze window in here. There's also a vent fan above. They're very good and detail oriented. But one other thing to note, you notice how there's a little step up right there from your garage. That's doing a few things for you. Uh, as is the case with almost any toy hauler, your main cabin has a heavier insulation package in the floor than the garage because the garage can't be enclosed in the same way due to the presence of the fuel cell on this RV that we'll talk about uh, later when we walk around the outside. But the other thing is, let's say God forbid you had a spill or something, that, I don't know, two inch step right there, that's going to keep any sort of fluid, liquid, spills, dirt, whatever, from working its way up into your living cabin. So there, it's actually doing a couple, maybe unintentional, but very nice benefits as well. And then when you step inside, this is some pretty uncharted territory for toy haulers to have a very light, bright, modern, residential sort of interior decor. Um, for so, so many years, toy haulers have been like, black interiors and diamond plate and razor blades and all of a sudden the fusion guys went what if we just didn't what if we just relaxed a little bit what if we still built the same really high quality product that we've put together for years but we just made it feel a little bit more at home we made it a little less aggressive a little less in your face and man i think they have killed it so 
We'll come back to the kitchen in a minute, but I do want to point out that this does have that four-door, 12-cubic-foot gas electric fridge freezer, so very off-grid friendly. Um, now, down below, we have our electric space heating fireplace with remote control. Above that, Bluetooth, DVD system, and a shelf to expand your entertainment. Now, the TV can actually pivot out so that if you want to be able to view it from the kitchen more easily, you can. Uh, although it's organically facing the sofa now, of course, you could make it face hard flat toward the sofa as well. This is a loft model. This will be good up here for a single sleeper, or you could just kind of use it as a little bit of a uh, attic storage location. The way that it wraps around, it's very good for keeping totes in place. And I like how they have both lights and a vent up there for whoever might be up in that area. Now, being a toy hauler, they have, like, I, I haven't hard measured them, but it's got to be approaching eight-foot ceilings in the slide-out right here. It is large and in charge, and what that creates is the ability to give you huge picture-viewing cross-breeze windows uh, so that you're getting airflow on both sides of your sofa, as well as amazing views of your campsite. Speaking of views, notice that there's a full window in the entry door, as well as up here in the hallway. I mean, you have maximum visibility. But down here, you've got this three-place wall-hugging uh, recliner party couch that I, I think has always just been a crowd pleaser. Now, we'll get to your two end seats in a minute. Those are the ones most people talk about. But I want to point out the fact that the extra-large middle, I don't know, kind of pseudo love seat section, notice how it also reclines. And it has the same wall-hugging functionality that we're seeing here on the nearest seat. You'll have that on all three sections. Now, on the left side, you see how we've got this handy little um, removable swing-around sort of utility tray. If you want to have a place to be able to, you know, grab a bite to eat or, you know, set down a drink, you can, although you do have cup holders built in. Speaking of which, right around those, you will notice that uh, this is where you can activate your heat and massage functions whenever you have full 110 power going on. Now, there are the little removable side stands for both uh, recliner ends, not just one. I simply set one up so you could get the idea. Now, uh, the ladder that we looked at earlier, as I mentioned, it, it easily floats up here to function in your loft area. And uh, as promised, the TV can kick around to be able to face the kitchen or just about anywhere you want it, short of the loft or the bathroom, I suppose. And what's great is the way they utilized the uh, entertainment center here. Now, the entertainment center, first and foremost, it wraps around that half bath. But th what they did with it, by giving you functional pantry space on both sides, as they get up closer, you can see that's not just the idea of a cabinet. That's a full-on, legit, very useful cabinet. Now, these are all hardwood cabinet doors, pocket screw cabinetry, and you will find hidden hinges throughout the entirety of uh, whether it's the you know the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom, whatever. Anytime you have a swing open cabinet door and an impact, that's what you're going to have. Now you have a matching near floor to ceiling pantry over here on the other side. And those doors are slightly hiding that 12 cubic foot fridge freezer that we mentioned earlier, but I think we already talked about it and you've already seen it, so I think you pretty much get the idea. Now I've had a lot of people ask me, why don't they put more cabinets in this area right here? And the answer is because they can't. The slide out would crush them. So they gave you what cabinets they could, where they could, to give this thing as much storage capacity as was possible. Now as we get down below, you're going to see that we have pressed uh, edge countertops. So they're lightweight and they're extremely liquid exposure resistant. And now that they've gone lighter on their cabinetry, it is more obvious than ever how uh, outlet friendly, appliance friendly impact RVs are. That's something Keystone's gotten very conscious about in, well, like, you know, the Cougars, the Montanas, the passports that we carry, and obviously these toy haulers from Keystone as well. They've acknowledged the fact that appliances keep coming with shorter and shorter cords, so they're making it easier and easier to reach them, which is, you know, pretty handy. Now, you've got a split uh, bamboo cutting board style sink cover here, and not only is that a high-rise faucet, but if I get close, you can see the little divider line in there. That is a pull-out sprayer handle right above that um, farm sink, which makes, uh, you know, cleaning bigger dishes much, much easier. Now, down below, bonus little cabinet space, as well as a dedicated wastebasket area. And then, uh, the one thing we haven't seen so far is drawers. The good news is, right here in the kitchen, you are greeted with three of them. And this is one of the reasons I like to put these videos together, because there's a lot of angles in this that are not really still photo-friendly, but the video gives you the idea. Now, 
uh, a Fusion will have a full digital in-command system. That's the big luxury big brother. That's the one with the, the everything that matters and then everything that doesn't. This is the one with just all just the facts, man. So instead of spending money on a fancy control center, they just said, what if we just put all the switches in one spot, which is exactly equally effective. And that's going to be one of your, like, impact versus fusion differences. Now you can see that we do have dual entry doors to get you up here to the bathroom area. We also have a sliding pocket privacy door right here as well. Now you might notice how they actually recess the shower plumbing into the floor, which is pretty common in big fifth wheels, but it makes for uh, basically no step up into the shower. There's just a little bit of lip to keep the shower water in there where it belongs. And notice how they cut away the countertop a little bit so that getting in and out of that shower door is very, very easy. Now, uh, you know, full medicine cabinet and everything up here, of course, uh, that's kind of, it should be a gimme feature, but I just want to make it known. What I do like though, is how they do have great countertop space here in this bathroom. But another thing that they've done very well is uh, when you get out of the shower, when you're in front of the toilet, you notice that there's no floor vents or anything here. They've made sure that your vents are in off location so that you're not going to, uh, you know, drip water, drop stuff in it. You don't want to drop a dirty Q-tip in a uh, floor vent, obviously. Although it is far, far less common of an issue that I think a lot of people want to believe it to be. But then you see the second door plus a linen cabinet here. This being a wide body coach gives them some extra things to do right here that most standard body RVs cannot accomplish. Namely, a good functional linen cabinet, plenty of space for towels, beach towels, maybe overflow clothes, uh, and a wa uh, not wastebasket, pardon me, laundry hamper. I hope you're not just throwing away yesterday's clothes unless, you know, something happened, and then, hey, more power to you. But the fact is that they're just giving you more function space here. But the wide body nature of this RV is what allows you to accomplish that. Open range has a very similar bathroom arrangement in a non-toy hauler, but the common thread there is their wide body. Now notice that you don't have hanging closets in here. You're not missing out on your hanging storage. They just moved it into a slide out. Uh, and instead what you're greeted with is a uh, Keystone. It's like the year of the ship lap at Keystone as one of our viewers was kind enough to point out. I couldn't have agreed more. That's a perfect, perfect descriptor. But um, it gives it a, just a very warm and welcoming front bedroom area. Notice that you've got outlets right against the headboard for uh, CPAP machines, phone chargers, heated blankets, etc. Now, this is also a very neat thing here that we have a 70 by 80 north-south king bed. If this was not a wide body RV, it'd be very tricky to do that since the RV also has a closet slide out here. But because this is wider, you have the room to have a uh, full king bed that we actually have upgraded this to. That is another optional piece of equipment, as well as a very generous closet and dresser slide out. And here you see that you've got basically all the same hanging storage as like a standard body fifth wheel with an east-west bed slide and a front nose closet. You've got all the same hanging storage here. Plus, they've got a couple handy dresser drawers down below. But what's nice, one of the recent updates at the time of this filming, and this is why I constantly re-record footage on the same old floor plans, because they're constantly improving, and these are a great example. Last year, it did not have this full underbed storage chest. It had this little drawer. Well, they spent a bunch of money re-engineering uh, a couple things to be able to bring this to you. And one other thing, I can't believe I didn't mention this sooner. I should have mentioned this back in the garage. This RV has dual centralized air conditioning. You've got one air conditioner located here. The other is actually located back in the garage area. And they share central ducting. And with an air conditioner in each end of the RV, it provides more powerful and even cooling throughout the entirety of the RV. And with the generator that we have optioned onto this one that we'll see in just a few minutes, you can enjoy full function of that no matter where you are. All right, outside, a couple quick things I wanna point out. These are optional pieces of equipment, but this is how we do generally build our 367 impacts here at Halet RV. We do like to build them with the six point hydraulic automatic leveling system to give you that great stability and easy setup and, and breaking camp time, as well as the 5500 Onan generator that you see up here. Um, those two things are not standard pieces of equipment in the impact series. That would be something that you would find standard maybe on its big brother Fusion. 
section. But again, with this being one of their larger floor plans, we thought, you know, it just, it definitely seems and feels appropriate. This is a uh, wide body product with a matching wide body chassis. If you know what you're looking for, you can actually look at the stance of the front leveling jacks and you can actually look at it and determine if it's standard eight foot body chassis or wide body chassis like this one. It is actually surprising how many big toy haulers, very successful brands at that, are still running a standard chassis on a wide body coach. So why do I mention that? Well, if you have a standard chassis on a wider body RV, the RV is a little less stable going down the road. It's a little more top heavy, if you will. It's more inclined to rock and roll behind you. Uh, the other thing is it's less stable at your campsite. Not like you're gonna, you know, be seasick as a result, but it's, I don't know, noticeable. Now you do have an Equiflex shock dampening pin box up front here, which helps smooth out the, uh, the jumps and the jolts as you're going down the road. Now, just like Big Brother Fusion, this still has the uh, Blizzard insulation package, which is what they call their zero degree rating area. Basically, your all of your holding tanks are enclosed, heated, forced air, protected. Um, you also have, you know, extra insulation through the roof, the nose, uh, uh, under the gooseneck area, so that this thing in the living cabin can achieve and maintain zero degree functionality. And that's, uh, you know, meaning sub-freezing. Now over here, their command center is actually really slick. Now you notice how it still says Fusion, because this is yet another of those areas where Fusion and Impact are essentially identical. You've got your outside shower with the removable coil style connection above. Key TV on the right, that is one of those things um, that basically you no longer have to deal with that signal antenna booster. The system will figure out what you're trying to throw at the TV and adjust accordingly, which is cool. Battery disconnect switch and a very simple, God bless America, red, white, and blue, um, you know, indicator uh, diagram, if you will, here. A key, a legend, whatever you want to call it, to uh, know how to, you know, what are you doing with your water system? It's not complicated, it's very simple. And obviously you can see you've got all of your holding tank valves and everything fully enclosed. Um, as we uh, come down the side here, we're passing our 16 inch radial tires. Again, when you get the auto leveling system, you're very, very stable with those jacks a little closer to those tires. We've also got a uh, 30 gallon fuel cell here that will be shared with the uh, generator up front. Uh, that is a gas generator, by the way. Gas is in gasoline, not uh, propane, which, you know, uh, liquid propane sometimes called gas. Anyway, point is, You've got a 30 gallon fuel cell that's shared between the generator and the fueling station here. An always on side mount ladder means you never have to waste storage space or risk having something damaged because a ladder shifted in transit. And on the back here, of course, we've got our Moride Easy Set Patio Party Deck system. What I like about this is because the patio deck actually attaches to the, um, the steel structure of the opening of the ramp door itself. You're not lifting and carrying the weight of the ramp every time you raise and close the door. You just swing the gates out of the way, load them up, and you're good to go. We do have a power awning off the back here. But what's kind of cool is you see how those legs drop down for stability? So that even if it is a little bit of a rainy day or whatever, um, or a windy day, you can still enjoy your patio area out here. You can still enjoy some sunshine. You could set your picnic table up here. You could just roll a couple chairs out with some friends. You could, you know... Turn, uh, roll down that screen wall that we talked about earlier, much earlier in the video, and turn your uh, garage into something of a three seasons room with your own portable patio deck. You know, there's a, uh, a lot of options and opportunities, a lot of different ways that I think you could utilize that and have a good time with. Now, something I also like to do is show a toy hauler at the tailgate up. You know, you figure you got to travel with it like this. But one of the things they do at Impact that I really like is they use a, uh, a superior positive latch system. It's not like the cheap little horse trailer sort of flip over and padlock uh, system. Now, if, if you want to, you can see that there is a little slot. You could padlock it if you want to. But a couple things. It does have its own key lock for easier security, and the actual handle itself helps you lift and lower the door. Uh, you know, when you flip that open and twist it, simpler and easier. Obviously, you know, spring assist system here, like you'd find on almost any, you know, patio ramp door system. Now, above that entry door, there's a uh, loading floodlight, just like you have above the rear door area. Actually, in the back, you have two, but over each entry door, you have another one. So that if you need to see what you're doing when you're coming and going, it's very simple and easy. Now, uh, good look at that sleek frameless window package here. Although our slide side windows on each side of that, uh, that seating slide here on the door side, those also open for airflow. They slide open to give you maximum airflow. Um, 
The uh, awning here, one of the neat things that they do is the uh, awning light is actually mounted in the awning tube. So by hitting the extender retract button a little bit on the awning, you can kind of angle that light a little bit so that you can always make sure the light's pointing where you want it, not accidentally blinding anybody. Another neat thing is that awning light will also activate the little LED amber light just above the entry steps right there that you see. That way, you can see what you're doing coming and going at night without attracting any more bugs than you absolutely necessarily positively have to. And hey, why not? I figured I'd flip open these slam latch baggage doors, give you a quick peek at the front pass-through right here as we're wrapping things up. One other thing I do want to point out while we're in here, though, uh, is the uh, you know TV hookups. And you've got your if you want to have a little outdoor cable TV station, you do have the ability to do that here. So there you have it, guys. Um, you know, there's a lot of reasons why this one is one of the most popular impacts. This is an incredibly popular floor plan across pretty much any manufacturer. But what they've done here is they've really taken the best of classy, the best of simplicity, and have given it a nicer, modern, interior look and feel as opposed to something that feels like you're walking into a, uh, a, you know, a motocross bachelor den or something like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think that this is just appealing to um, just a little more discretionary and reserved clientele like yourselves. So, give us a call guys. We only do everything here at Halet RV except our hidden dealer fees those we don't do but we do hitching pieces parts trades finance truck and trailer package deals rv delivery and everything between so take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone